Hi guys, welcome back. So week two of our Microsoft Word tutorial, uh, we're going to learn some really cool stuff. So last week, uh, you learned how to download, install and turn on the ruler in Microsoft Word. Uh, if you had forgotten how to turn on the ruler or don't know how to turn on the ruler, simply go to the view in the ribbon and check the ruler checkbox. And be sure to go back to the home ribbon when you're done. So some of the cool things we can do with a uh, ruler, let's cover that now. First, let's go to ipsum.com. If you don't know what that is, it's a word paragraph generator. So here, I'm just going to copy a paragraph here and paste it three times. And if you're wondering what the paragraph symbol or where that's coming from, it's coming from because I enabled the show paragraph symbol. Um, so you can toggle that option by clicking this paragraph symbol on the ribbon bar. So I'm going to keep it on. That way you know that there are three paragraphs on this document. So the first thing we're going to show you is how to indent using uh, the ruler. Now I know you can indent by simply clicking a tab, right? By pressing the tab key, you can go to the beginning of any paragraph and simply indent them. But you've done the work three times, right? So let me undo that for a second. Kind of backtrack there. If you just highlight any part of the paragraph, in this case, I've got three paragraphs uh, highlighted. If you click and hold that top uh, triangle, it will do the exact same thing. See that? You see how as, as I'm dragging this, it is indenting the first line of the paragraph. So that's really cool, right? So that's something you can't really do by using the tab key. So if you've got multiple paragraphs that you want to indent, this is the fastest way to do a multi paragraph indention. All right, so let me undo that again. This time we're gonna do uh, what's called a hanging indent. Now what is a hanging indent? A hanging indent, uh, you can do by clicking the bottom uh, triangle. And you got to be very careful when you click on that bottom triangle. There we go. So when you do that, it is indenting everything in the paragraph except for the first line. So it's the opposite of the top uh, triangle. We got that right. So again, the top triangle does an indent, which pushes the first line to the right. The bottom triangle does what's called a hanging indent, which pushes everything to the right except for the first line. You'll see some of this uh, stuff in uh, desktop publishing and books and things like that. It's so really cool, right? Now, if you want to indent uh, the paragraph to the right, um, you know, you can use the indent button here, right? Notice how it's just moving the entire uh, ruler. I don't know what, what you want to call it, ruler, designation, thumb, whatever that is. But you can also achieve the exact same thing by clicking on this rectangle and just moving, moving it wherever you want to. So the advantage of using the ruler versus the indent button here. So if you notice the indent button is going every half an inch, right? Versus if you just grab the ruler's indent handler, you can go any stop you want. Yeah, you can go any stop you want. So that's really cool. Now notice on the right side, there's also a uh, triangle. So that's the right indent. So if you click on that and drag it, you can see you're moving the paragraph from the right side and you're pushing it in. So now you know how to do indents for paragraphs both on the left and on the right side. Now another thing you can do um, is, let me indent the paragraph here for a second. You can also manipulate the margins through the ruler. So by dragging the top part there, see it's left margin, you can move the left margin, right? You can also do the same thing on the right side. By dragging the right side there, you can move the right margin. You have to be very careful that you click and drag when the cursor changes to that double left and right arrow and the tooltip says right margin, right? So part of the reason I move this top uh, triangle to the right is because when it's right here on the left, you actually, it's very difficult to grab the margin. I mean, you still can, right? You just have to be very careful about it. Uh, you just basically have to put the cursor right in between where the triangles meet, right? And then move it. So 
So that's how you use the ruler. Now, you know, you can achieve all of these things without using the ruler. You can obviously use the indent buttons as well as the paragraph settings uh, dialog box. So if you want to indent the first line, it's called the first line indent. And you can specify by how much, in this case, uh, 0.5 inches or half an inch. You can see it did the exact same thing. In fact, all it did is really set the ruler to what I showed you earlier. So you can also do the opposite by doing the hanging indent by half an inch. And you can see all it did was also set the ruler that way. So there you go. You learned something new about how to use the ruler. It's one of those things where, you know, if you go in the office one day morning, show everyone, hey, let me show you uh, this cool feature in Microsoft Word, this ruler thing. And then you show them how to manipulate the ruler. And that should uh, wow and dazzle them, uh, uh, the people in the office. One last thing I want to show you before we... Uh, uh, in this tutorial is um, you can go to the footer of your document by simply double clicking on this section. You can see how the cursor change right to this arrow. Just double click there. And so now you've got a footer. I'm just going to say here, I'm going to put like uh, by Lori Sinshoko week two word tutorial and I'm hitting tab, press tab page one of one. Now I'm going to show you in later tutorials how to make these dynamic for now. I just hard coded it. So if you look very carefully in the ruler, you notice there's these symbols now. This is called a center tab, and that's called a right tab. Now, what is a center tab? Watch. I'm going to click and hold it and drag it around. Look what it's doing. As I'm dragging it around, it is moving that word that is in the center of the footer. Right. Same thing with the right tab. If I drag that around, you can see it's moving. Now, that's, that's not the same as moving the paragraph itself. Right? See, that's the paragraph itself. It's also not the same thing as moving the margin itself. Right? So those are you know, three distinct uh, different elements. This is the tab style. Now, if you double click the ruler, if you double click on a particular tab stop, it'll actually bring up the tabs dialog box. So you can see at 3.25 inches, which is right there, it is a center tab. At 6.25 inches, which is right there, it is a right tab. So obviously you can change it to be a left, a center, or a right, and other things like decimal and bar. But most of the time you'll probably use left, center, and right. Uh, you'll use decimal when you're doing numbers. So there, that's another useful uh, feature of the ruler. So you can add additional tab stops. Like if I just click right here, it just inserted a tab. But look what it did. It reformatted everything because tabs are processed left to right. So you just have to bear that in mind. So as I move this, um, you see it's, it's, it's affecting the bottom footer there. To get rid of it, just click and hold it and then drag it down. There you go. And so now we're back to where we were. Let's go ahead and close the header and footer section there and get back to the document. Well, this is it. So I hope you learned a thing or two about how to use the ruler. If nothing else, you know, please uh, learn how to use the indent. Uh, that is probably the most useful feature of the ruler that you'll be using throughout your word uh, professional career, uh, you know, because that's very useful whether you're in school or in the office. And also be mindful that there's a difference between a paragraph, right? So a lot of us, um, when we're new to Microsoft Word, we would type, if I just hide the paragraph symbol here, um, we would often just type a sentence and then hit enter, right? Sentence three sentence four. But in reality, if you turn on the paragraph symbol, you've actually created multiple paragraphs. Now, if you actually want to create a sentence, you can you can issue what's called you can insert what's called a line break. So this is the difference. So this is sentence five, and then you press you press and hold the shift key and then press enter. Oop, I have a tab stop somewhere. There we go. It was it was like justified earlier and then here we go sentence six if i can just spell sentence seven so do you see a difference between an actual sentence and a paragraph so these are actually paragraphs so a paragraph by default and you can change this has a gap between them a sentence really has no that it doesn't have much gap in between them because that's what sentences are, right? So this is a sentence or sentences, uh, even though it's just one long paragraph in this case. But you can t clearly tell that in between paragraphs, 
there are white spaces. That's what it's called in Microsoft Word, white spaces. So yeah, uh, just learn the distinction between a paragraph and a sentence. If you're being an Uber geek at work, uh, you know, show people that, hey, if you want to create a line, you press and hold the shift key and then you press enter. That's a line. It's called a line break. And if you want to create paragraphs, you press the enter key without holding on the shift key. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, this is it. I hope you learned a thing or two about the ruler and the differences between a line break and a paragraph. Take care, everyone. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Sin. I hope you liked my video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, thanks a lot again, guys. Take care. Bye.